really feels that Ireland could have a winner this year the Northern France. Look at this time as he comes up towards the line now, spinning for home. He's not going to be the best time, but he's going to be pretty close. And this could be the best of the likely winners of the Tour de France. Terrific applause for Stephen Roach. 7.13.2, and that's the third best time of the day. Roach will be absolutely delighted with that. So to have had 10 days off the bicycle since the end of the Giro and still managed to finish third with no racing in between, does that mean that we've got a Stephen Roche in incredible form for this year? <laughs> what a finish this is going to be! As the time counts down, they cross the line. 44 minutes, 50 seconds, 8 seconds victory for the team of Stephen Roche. It won't be enough for the yellow jersey, but first place on the stage today will do very nicely, thank you. And Roach, no doubt now, is going to go on top of the leaderboard with this ride. And he's going to nose ever so close to the leader's yellow jersey tonight. Roach, just this little rise up to the line to finish, to take the lead in the time trial stage of the Tour de France. The longest stage is 1951. The man that won the stage in the time trial in 1951, by the way, Hugo Cobley, went on to win the Tour de France. And Stephen Roach is looking set fair now to win this stage of the Tour de France. He's the fastest so far at all of the checkpoints. He's going to be best time at the finish. He comes up to the line, 1.59, four seconds to beat. He's going to be just outside a minute better, 1.58.11 for Stephen Roach, and he's on top of the leaderboard. But Stephen Roach is still ahead. He's still ahead of Jean-Francois Bernard. He's coming up towards the finish. Our camera's concentrating on the Frenchman. He has caught Stephen Roach, and that's good news all round. Roach is coming up towards the finishing line. He's going to push Herrera very close. It's not going to be the best time, but it's going to keep him well in the fight. If Stephen Roach keeps alongside him, and there's an attack going from Delgado. Pedro Delgado's going. That's the man that Roach must counter now. So too must Jolly Motte, because for the moment at least, and Roach goes. Roach immediately, the ever watchful Stephen Roach, he really has got his sights on this Tour de France this year. Stephen Roach is the yellow jersey of the Tour de France for the first time in his career. The Dublin paperboy has gone into the biggest race in the world and he's won the leader's yellow jersey. Here is the start of the drama of today's stage of the Tour de France. Again, Pedro Delgado has slipped Stephen Roach on the climb. But remember, at one point he had a minute and a half and just who is that rider coming up behind? Because that looks like Roach. That looks like Stephen Roach. It's Stephen Roach who's come over the line. He almost caught Pedro Delgado. I don't believe it. Listen, last night's final three kilometers was as heroic a ride as anybody's ever seen. Do uh, you feel that perhaps you may have saved the tour? with that ride? I haven't lost anyway, so that's why otherwise I wouldn't have done the ride. I had to finish with Delgado, so you have to sometimes you must push yourself over the limit. So yes, you had to do it, so hopefully it's like a different story. I wonder how many seconds now Roach is going to steal back from the yellow jersey. He jumped him on the descent, he's taken his life in his hands coming down that mountain. He's already got 10 seconds on the yellow jersey, so the penalty by the race referees, Roach has taken back today on this climb, plus a little bonus for himself. Delgado crosses the line, 18 seconds, 18 seconds and 21 seconds will be the unofficial time gap. Stephen Roach is coming up. He's not going to beat Jean-Francois Bernard. We never expected him to, really. He's made the time on Bernard in the mountains. Now, though, he's going to come home with a time that's going to beat Pedro Delgado of Spain to give him the yellow jersey for sure at the most crucial stage of the Tour de France.